you guys. Welcome back to Lily Reads. So we have another reading vlog. I'm giving you guys back to back reading vlogs for this video but this video is kind of different because instead of reading like traditional novels that I usually read that I usually lean towards we are gonna read some graphic novels I got these graphic novels this one was a pre-order that you saw in a vlog and then I've had Heartstopper for oh, just a little while I've owned Heartstopper Heartstopper Hive if I don't like this do not drag me do do not drag me if I do not like this graphic novel, but I think I am because actually I'm reading both of these because I want some good food. I want some good food. I want to have a good taste in my mouth. My last two reading vlogs just were not the most positive and I'm here to spread positivity about books because here is the thing. I don't want to become known as the bitch who don't like shit. The bi I, oh no, 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 I don't because I read so many books and like usually in a year that is not 2022 I usually like the books that I read so like I don't know what's happening this year but I have to switch the narrative I have to change the narrative I don't want to be known as the person who hates everything so I chose graphic novels because usually I love most graphic novels that I read I just do I just do it's something about pictures and words that just bring me back to stop to not being a bit of bitch that I love and then I've heard good things about both of these so of course I had to get my hands on them and of course I'm going to read them for this video. We are 100% going to start with Heartstopper. Um, this is a Netflix show. This is volume one. Does it have three volumes? It has way more than three. It has two, three, four, five. It's five, five volumes? No. There's a coloring book. So there's four volumes in a coloring book. Am I getting that right? Am I getting that right? I don't know. I actually don't even know what this is about. Um, I haven't watched the TV show, so maybe I'll start the TV show on this vlog because this will be a really quick vlog. Like, it's a graph. They're two graphic novels, so I'm gonna get into them. We're gonna start on Heart Heartstopper, and yeah, I'll maybe like take my time with these because I'm really excited. You guys, I ordered this in the mail, and like you. Look, you guys, it came like bit up and like messed up. The pages are like fucked up. Like they just, I don't know. Oh, oh, it made me so sad when I saw it. Like if you could see the side, do y'all see that? Do y'all see how it's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like it's, it's, it's more than bent. Like it's, the pages are like torn. Whatever. That's the intro to this. I don't even know why I'm trying to make this intro longer than it gotta be. Heart stop. We're starting with heart. Oh, wash day. Then we're gonna read get into wash day. Look up. Wash day is so pretty. Like, so pretty. Oh, gorgeous. Um, yeah. Let me say who these are by. This is by Alice o Osaman. O Osman. Alice Osman. And this is by Jamila Rouser and Robin Smith. Heartstopper. See you guys later. Hello, you guys. Back to the vlog. We are not here to talk about Wash Day or Heartstopper. I ain't started either of those two books. I can finish both of them in one sitting, so I just didn't feel necessary. So I am in my car, in my Jeep, scrambling. So Summerween is like a readathon that is hosted by two members in the booktube community one is gabby one name is olivia i don't even remember i'll link everything down below but summerween is a thing that happens every year basically you read books that you will usually read in halloween during the summer and i you literally i don't participate in many like book tags book challenges like it's just not my brand but like for some reason summerween is like one of the few ones i like actively like do every single year because i just think it's so fun to like read a thriller in the middle of the summer i don't usually read like a bunch of books during this time because i usually already have my like july tbr that i already need to read and that's kind of what i'm doing now i am already reading a thriller back here because I was reading in my car early I read in my car a lot I was reading this earlier you guys were here were, will hear about this book in a later vlog so technically I am already doing summerween 
by reading this book but I kind of want to do a vlog for this week about Summerween to show that I participated therefore I need a thriller to read like I need a thriller horror there are some thrillers and horrors that came out and so I went to books a million and I picked up some books. I know I wasn't supposed to be buying books, but I had a really long talk with my man and we went over this whole thing on how like, books is my business, therefore I shouldn't be hard on myself for buying books because like at the end of the year, I write them off on my taxes. So like, books are my business. But anyway, I bought a bunch of books from Books A Million, but none of them are thrillers, none of them are horrors. So like, it was a flop. Now, they did have the new Ruth Ware book, but I'm not going to read the new Ruth Ware book for my summer ween because I'm doing a Ruth Ware video in October. So, like, I don't want to really get into Ruth Ware right now, even though I really want to read the new Ruth Ware book. But I do want to pick it up because I know it's on sale for 30% off at Barnes & Noble. So, I am going to go in here and get that book. And it wasn't on sale at Books I mean, At least I didn't see. It says it was. But I, I'm double masked up on a fucking Saturday, period. Like, we wear a mask around here. But I want to go in there, and I'm looking for some new thrillers that I want to read. Barnes & Noble's where I like to buy new books. So that's where I'm at. I'm about to go in there. I have a coffee. It's not good. I didn't make it. It's not good. Um, But it's going to do the job. So I'm about to go in there and get some, and then... I'll show you if I found something. If I don't, we'll get in the heart stopper, okay? Peace. You guys, it is a flop in here. I don't see Ruth where I have this thing where I don't like to ask where books are. And I really do need to just ask where the new Ruth Ware is. I don't see it out. I saw that at Books A Million, but I didn't see it on sale at Books A Million. So I'm sitting here and confused. And there's these group of like kids who are talking about the summer I turned pretty. They have to be talking about the television show because there's no way they're talking about the books because the books were just not that compelling. So I think they're talking about the TV show, but they could be talking about the books. But regardless, it's giving me like PTSD of last week having to read all three of those books. And so like, I deeply want to get out of here so I don't have to hear teenagers talking about the summer I turned pretty. They're they're cute, they're adorable, they're all of those things. I just don't wanna hear it. And so like, I'm looking at other thrillers. I'm in the thriller section, as you can see. And I don't see anything else I wanna read, yet I have a cart full of books. So I really should get out of here and stop spending money because like, it's ridiculous. But I have to go. Yeah, they're talking about the TV show because they're saying they don't know what's going to happen. So if they didn't read the books, they if they read the books, they would know what would happen. Anyways, this is a flop. I'm going to look at some YA books because those seem to have worked for me this year. Then I'm getting out of here. I'm just going to ask where the Ruth Ware book is. Maybe they're sold out. Is Ruth Ware, does Ruth Ware have that grip on the people? Maybe they're all sold out. We'll see. I'll talk to you guys when I get back in the Jeep. I went book shopping. That's all I can say is I went book shopping today and I am not going to beat myself up about it. I don't know. I need to have a healthier relationship with book buying. I read books. A lot of people buy books and don't read books. I read a book every single day. I always am reading a book. Like I have a book in my car. So I'm not gonna have an unhealthy relationship with buying books. I like to buy books. So the whole point of me going to the bookstore was me showing you guys what books I think I'm gonna read for summer week. So like, I was not very happy with like the thriller section that I saw. Like I was reading through some the synopsis of some books. I do have some books in my Amazon cart that are thrillers, but like, I wanna get started on this now because I'm only gonna read one book. And so like, I was choosing, basically I went in there and I found two books I could choose from. Now I did, as you guys saw from the clip, I did, find the Ruth Ware so that's exciting I don't know why I decided to pick this book up because 100% by the time I go to read this in October probably even if I even get to it in October 
I could have gotten this half price. Like it's gonna be in the clearance section. Thriller books have like a quick turnaround. Like we, they're popular and hot for two months and then they're in the 50% off bin. So like I could have, but you know what, Ruth? Have your dollars, have your dollars. And it was 30% off. And Barnes and Nobles, you guys, I purchased one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I purchased eight hardback books and I paid $170 and I know that might sound like a lot of money but it's technically not because like that's only averaging like how much what's what's the science you guys what's the science 20 bucks with tax 20 bucks per hardcover like that's just not bad to like that's just not bad I'm just I'm not upset and I got a toad I got a cute little shopping tote, which usually instead of like shopping with these, I get, I put my books that I'm gonna unhaul inside of these. So like I have a new unhaul tote. Um, so like I'm not upset, but anyways, I chose to choose between the club and uh, Magpie, Magpie? I don't know. Basically, I've never heard of this book and I've seen this book around and it's like, I see it and I'm like, shit, I read it. Like, I just feel like when you're going to do like a tag, like a, not a tag, like a reading marathon, a reading spree, you want to try something you probably wouldn't have tried before. I feel like that's the point of kind of these things, like stepping out of your comfort zone. Like I probably wouldn't have gotten to either of these books this year or ever in my life. They probably would have just sat on a backlog of mine. Like one day I'll get to them, like who knows? So I'm happy that I'll read one of these two books next week. And you have to watch my vlog that I'm going to post on th Wednesday or Thursday, whichever is the last day of Summerween. You'll have to see which one I chose, but we'll decide in that video what we're going to choose. So these are the two books I purchased for that. Do you guys want to see all the books that I bought? I think I'm going to save that for like another thing. We need to talk about Heartstopper and some other stuff. So I will save the book haul for another day, but I did get a beautiful tote. I purchased nine books at Barnes and Noble today, and I purchased one, two, three, four, five books at um, Books a Million today. I would love to go to Half Price Books today, but Half Price Books is nowhere near where I live. Half Price Books is in Decatur, I think, which I don't have no problem driving out to Decatur. It's just not in my list of things to do today. So I'm going to finish this nasty coffee that also has no ice in it anymore. I'm just going to go home and I'm going to juice it up. It, it tastes kind of good. Mm. I might just be thirsty. Anyways, I was so ready to get out of there. I was so ready to get out of there. Book buying on the weekends may not be my thing. I don't know. I was just feeling stressed out. Ooh. Oh, we'll talk about it later. Bye. Peace. Heart stopper in the next clip. <sighs> Hello, you guys. I am back. We went on an adventure today. <sighs> Bought some books today. All of that stuff. But I actually can come back and tell you guys I read and finished Heart Stopper by Alice Osman. I gave this book four out of five stars. What a cute little precious baby. I don't have many, many thoughts about this book. It was just cute. It was just precious. Like, I get it. Like, I get it. Am I going to be like a stand down? No. Am I in a rush to go watch the Netflix series? No. I'll get to it one day. But I see why this evokes standum. I see why people like this. It's just wholesome. It's just cute. Like, like it's just precious it's like really really precious um how do I feel about our two main characters Nick and Charlie they're so cute I just love seeing them come into their sexuality and explore themselves and explore one another get to know one another um how do I feel about the art style the art style is fine to me I think that's where it kind of loses the star for me like I don't love the art style I don't but I also don't dislike it either it's it's like it's beautiful it's nice but like it to get a five star on a graphic novel you really have to blow my mind like oh my gosh and this didn't blow my mind this was cute this was wholesome this is everything I want in young adult 
romance and that's exactly what this gave me i thought it was so cute and it honestly was just it was a time it was a time to sit on my couch and eat some applesauce and read this i really liked it so i guess the question is always at the end of a graphic novel that has that has like multiple volumes will i be continuing on with this the answer is yes i'm actually really curious about what happens next like am i in a rush to go buy the next sets no and i'll probably buy them as i read them instead of buying them in bulk i'll probably buy them as i read them i'm learning my lesson i'm becoming a more responsible book buyer but i'll read them as i go and then like maybe if i get to volume three and no longer am interested i won't do volume four if i get to two and no longer want to read three i have no longer but right now i'm in it it's cute it's fun i liked it four out of five stars that's what this video was for i just needed some good food and the thing is do not take what i am saying on graphic novels all that seriously because I am never going to be the graphic novel aficionado. I am never going to be like just a savant in graphic novels because I am just not a hugely graphic novel girl like I look at the pictures I see if I like the pictures I see if I like the story like I just don't really go that in depth with graphic novels so I would take everything I say with a grain of salt but I like this this was cute this was cute I thought maybe I would have to come on here and say I'm gonna just let y'all have this like I didn't see it doing nothing special but this was cute this was wholesome it, it gave good gay representation and you know what I like it I would I would love to to see more like this if you could point me in a direction to some like black graphic novels that are doing wholesome cute lgbtqa representation that would really move me like but this i loved it i loved it i loved it i'll continue on so we're gonna do wash day will i be sitting down and i'm gonna start wash day and i'm really excited for this one i am really excited to get in this this is what I mean by art style that I enjoy. Another thing about these, y'all tell me, Miss Acrylic Girlies, tell me, do these pages bleed onto your nails? These pages were bleeding onto my nails. Every time I was turning the page, they were bleeding. Like my little, my thumb is like black because the ink on these pages were bleeding on to me. But that could just be my addition. My addition is already fucked up anyway. So anyways i'll be continuing heartstopper and we're gonna move on to wash day diaries when i finish it i'll come back with all i'm coming in i'm coming in really quick just to say i am like what page am i on i am on page 56 of wash day and i am loving this down i am loving this down this is literally i've never read a graphic novel like this this is so good so this is following a group of friends who live in new york city and basically all their stories are combined around them doing something with their hair so we have one girl it's her wash day so she's like not fooling up with nobody today as someone who is a natural and wears her hair natural i understand what you mean i take my wash day very seriously wash day is my favorite day of the week i just love going into the shower and loving on my hair adding moisture back to my hair i love washing my hair i wish the love i have for washing my hair on everyone it breaks my heart when people say they hate washing their hair or they hate detangling their hair and all that i love it so damn much and so like this this graphic novel is speaking to my soul we have another girl who's getting her braids done and she's using that time that she's getting her braids done to tell everybody about the nigga she slept with last night i'm enjoying the pictures we have like pictures of like the like sex scenes i am loving it it is so damn cute it is so much about just like black girl love oh my gosh it's so cute all of our girls have different hair textures they're different sizes I love it. I love it. I love it so much. So yeah, I'm just popping in to say I'm enjoying the hell out of this. Okay, I'll come back when it's off. Okay, peace. Good morning, you guys. I am coming to you guys in the morning. I have not read any more of Wash Day. After I recorded that last clip, I did not record anything else. I'm about to make me a coffee and some toast one thing about me i have turned into a breakfast 
girly. I love me some goddamn breakfast. I like making a coffee. I like making toast. If I'm feeling a little frisky, I will get a pot out and boil me some eggs. I don't really like scrambled eggs or like hard uh i don't like fried eggs either i'm more of a boiled girl and i don't eat the yolk i only eat the egg whites of the boiled egg so like i should do that today but i don't feel like it because i just kind of want to eat and finish wash day you guys i have already been, we're like midway through july we'll say and I have already bitten off more than I can chew with my reading. I think in August, I'm going to scrape all of my plans for reading. And I'm going to do like a just like shop my shelves type video where basically I'll choose one, two, three or four books and we'll read those. Like just what I'm in the mood to read because I've been planning out videos for this channel to make this channel make sense. It's been hard because sometimes you're not in the mood to read the book that you like said you wanted to read that week. And because my reading year has been so ass, and usually I don't like the books that I'm picking out either. So like I have so many literary fiction books that I have that I just want to read. So I just want to do like a shop the shelves, read the lit thick and just do that. Because this month I'm just not the only book that I'm like really excited about that I'm gonna read this month is the book club pick I want to read the book club pick and that's it and so like everything else I just don't want to read so I don't know but let me make my coffee let me make my toast but I will see you guys all later when I finish wash day okay bye bye the trick to a good iced coffee my friends, it's always the ice. It is always, I don't care what anybody says, it is always the ice. You should have enough ice in your iced coffee that it's almost spilling over. That is my trick to a good iced coffee, okay? That is my tip. I hate an iced coffee that is lukewarm. So I make my coffee on my Breville. Let me tell you something about this Breville. I buy things sometimes. I got this for my birthday, actually. Um, I get things sometimes, and I don't use them. And it's like, okay, I probably didn't need to spend the money or have someone spend the money that they spent on this for me because I don't use it. When it comes to my Breville, there's two things that is not true in that. My Peloton and my Breville, I use every single day. This thing right here, this, I'd rather make my coffee at home than make, go to a coffee shop. Like this right here has changed my life. I do two, look at that. Do, do you see, do you see the froth, the creme at the top? That, that's, that's, that's espresso right there. That's espresso right there. It tastes so good. I could, I could, I could shot it right now. Like, it, mm, this Breville has changed my life. Like, maybe when this one gives out on me, I'll upgrade to like the one with the screen or whatever. But this does the job. I got this for my birthday last year. I got the Peloton for, uh, Christmas last year. Two of them, I know, Peloton, y'all get, y'all get on Peloton, my Peloton changed my life. Ooh, I love that thing. And I love this thing. Oh my gosh. Anyways, I'm going to make my coffee. Now I'm going to go watch. I'm going to go read Watch Day. Okay, peace. It is my time. I promised I would not keep you guys here long and I'm not going to do it. I am simply not going to do it. I'm going to finish my day, go about my day and wrap up this vlog. I finished wash day. I did. I did this vlog because I wanted some good food. I wanted some good food. I wanted some good reads. I wanted to see if I could pull a five star read out of here. I am thrilled to say I am giving this book five stars with room. We have a top five favorite book of the year in this vlog. Round of applause all around. Wash Day is excellent. Everything about this is excellent. The story, excellent. The, right, the, the style, the drawing style, excellent. The color choices used, Excellent. The attention to detail, excellent. The dialogue, excellent. My favorite thing about this book, let me come a little closer and show you guys. So 
if you read this book so i'll start here so every girl in this book gets her own like little chapter right so this one is called group chat and it has like a color theme and so every time this girl is in the story either if even in her story all the pages match this like orange vibe right and then if she shows up in anyone else's story so let's see her here if she shows up in anyone else's story she also has that same exact orange vibe everyone so like everyone got their own little vibe she got the purple vibe she got the blue vibe she got the yellow vibe she got the orangey vibe and that vibe stays throughout the entire novel and like even like it's blended into when they're in scenes together it's blended into all the scenes all of their colors and i love it so freaking much like i can't even tell you what my favorite one is i will tell you what my favorite one is. group chat is my favorite one it's a story about her in her like love triangle that she's currently in and her trying to get her braids done and then one that really like hit me was this one called bright side and her color was blue she's dealing with depression and it was showing how like you like don't when you're depressed it's hard to take care of your hair it's hard to take care of yourself keep your apartment intact all of that stuff and i just thought it to be so fucking brilliant i found this book to be so goddamn brilliant the yellow one you guys know my favorite color is yellow we got this yellow one it is so good it looks green here and it still is kind of green in real life but it's like greenish yellow and I loved it so damn much. Look at this. I don't want to spoil it, like, giving all day juice away, showing you guys the pictures. But look at this shit. Five out of five stars. Five out of five stars. There's a picture. I think it's 152, which is my favorite picture of the entire book. Yes, this right here this right here this is what i pay my money for it showed like all of their outfits like the girls are so different but so alike and you just see them be this one friend group and them coming together and them defending each other and them being there for one another it is just so good so i want to end this on i need a tv show i need heartstopper is a tv show and deserves heartstopper was great I need a TV show for Wash Day because these characters in this short graphic novel, these characters are so fleshed out. They have so much backstory, so much personality. I need a TV show and I need more volumes. I need more volume. It doesn't say Wash Day Volume 1, Wash Day Diaries. This just seems like a standalone graphic novel, but I want more. I want more Wash Day graphic novels. This is so damn good. So damn good. Oh my gosh, if there's anything else like this, point me in its direction. I'm about to go on a whole deep dive to find more stuff like this. This was so fucking excellent. I could like rant and rave all day. I need a TV show. I need a Wash Day Diaries TV show. This was so good. This was so brilliant. Um, Jamila Rouser and Robin Smith, all the flowers, all the flowers. Go get your hands on this, please. Everyone, please, if you are watching this vlog, go buy this. It's so damn good good anyways good food good food all in all i enjoyed the fuck out of these i will see you guys in the next one if you want to see more of me hit me up on patreon which is as told by kenya and yeah peace <laughs>